God from Isidiology's point of view. I recently had a debate with one scientist physicist. He was trying to understand as to what God is. He even wrote a book in German, which explains how God created the world in seven days and what he was doing on the eighth day. But during the conversation, it did not become clear to me as to what he was doing on the eighth day. God had to manipulate something. I mean the collective consciousness which determines the essence of not just what is manifested by us in this life, but also the essence of life, which is manifested through a variety of self-consciousness forms. So about my question, what did he use for manipulation? He answered that he manipulated something inside himself, but there have had to be some motivations. And what was the motivation? It is information. There had to be some thoughts, there had to be some desires, which is also information. Some actions had to be done by him, which also is the informational interconnections that form some or other impulses between each other. So it turns out that God, irrespective of discussion's angle, whether it is a religious God or physical, he is the consequence of informational combinations. If something had to be called God, describing the degree of highest competency, highest functionality, it should be information. Unfortunately, neither science nor philosophy has moved in that direction yet, and none of them have any thoughts on the subject. Therefore, Isidiology in great detail describes information, the formation of information, interaction inside of information, how the self-consciousness of informational entity is being formed inside information, how the self-consciousness realizes itself inside itself by a way of various forms of universes, also human forms and other protoforms, animals, minerals and so on how the interconnections take place between visible and invisible worlds, dimensions, how are universes structured in general, in what relationships they are between one another, beginning with planetary, starry, galaxy, entities, and ending with the boson, Fermian self-consciousness forms and many other things that are outside of our perception system, but which do exist.